What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP, and on the keys in this too. It's another video today. I got some Frankie Boyle Mock the Week Season 2. Let's get it. Caring Tory? Isn't the point of being the leader of the Tory party is that you get to be an evil bastard? <laughs> Come on, the poor, prepare your ass cheeks for a pound. Oh, wow. It's just like sort of Darth Vader turning to the Emperor and going, I'm not sure about the environmental consequences of the Death Star, Your Excellency. <laughs> <laughs> Advised Ping for a Lib Dem leadership candidate to say, Sorry, I'm late. I had trouble finding a vein. <laughs> Yo! Oh! Yo! Yeah. And you start with a game called If This Is The Answer, What Is The Question? On the board are six categories relating to current events. For each category, I read out an answer, and the players have to guess what the question might be. The answer is tired, lost, and confused. What is the question? Uh, statistically, what are the worst words to use on your CV? <laughs> we know we've got this thing now, extreme rendition, where basically they fly people out to torture them, and those flights stop in Scotland. I mean, this is horrendous. People being denied basic human rights, orange jumpsuits. How are we supposed to tell these flights apart from EasyJet? <laughs> I mean, EasyJet probably would torture you, they just charge you for it as an extra. You want a sack in your head and pissed on, sir, that'll be six euros. <laughs> is, this, is this really what we want to do with Islamic fundamentalist terrorists? Make sure they're all on planes. Yo! Yo! Okay. Yo, he's... Yeah, okay. All right. Isn't a bit like when they used to lock the A-team into a shed full of old mechanical parts. Here's a picture of the Liberal Democrat leadership candidates. So what does LDLC stand for? Liberal Democrats love cock. <laughs> <laughs> Cliffhanger line for Bill Sopa. The irony won't be last on you here, President Schwarzenegger. I'm from the future, and I'm here to stop you from destroying the world. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is in a supermarket. What is the question? Is it, uh, I'm in America. Where's a cheap and convenient place to buy a heavy duty assault rifle? <laughs> Bad things to say. <laughs> the fact that that's true is crazy. Like, they sell, they sell them in Walmart, bro. They sell guns in Walmart, bro. <laughs> Say at Prime Minister's question time. Prime Minister, could you look interested while I bring up some boring shit about my constituency? <laughs> <laughs> we've got one, we've got two, we've got two more poofs than you. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at the Oscars. As a gay cowboy, I think I know where I'll be putting this little fella. <laughs> yes, so it is the royals. Frankie, <laughs> why have the royals sent both Prince William and Prince Harry to Sandhurst? What, is there some kind of advanced gayness that doesn't get covered in public school anymore? <laughs> Do you not think life must be quite weird for Prince Harry? Getting really stoned and seeing your grand's face appearing on your money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a theory. <laughs> a theory about Prince Philip. That he can only die once he's insulted every nation on earth. <laughs> so you're the ambassador for Fiji. Finally I can die, you spear-throwing pig humper. Yo! Butter, mascara, and pumping equipment. The question is, what Danish exports are being boycotted in the Middle East after the publication of an offensive cartoon? <laughs> but the thing is, exports of these things will be down, but surely exports of Danish flags will be up about a thousand percent. Unlikely things for a Winter Olympics commentator to say. Points off the Danish team for exploding. <laughs> The upturned bobsleigh providing a fitting coffin. Yo! Yo! Because I remember that thing 
where it was like the event, like the luge, what's it called, the luge, and like people actually died from that. Yo, oh, buddy, 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 you are out of pocket. What you don't want to hear in an NHS hospital. Can you go for a shit so the surgeon can get his car keys back? <laughs> Now, you're sure you had legs when you came in? <laughs> Yo! Commercials that never made it to air. Dry skin, itchy, flaking scalp. You disgust me. <laughs> Let's have a first topic, please. It is the future. Oh, right. Worrying about the future is different if you're Scottish. So like English people are worried about the Euro coming in because they're worried about what it will mean for nationality and identity. And in Scotland, we're worried that we might close down Pound Stretcher. <laughs> well, the new coins be heavy enough to throw at referees. <laughs> you know, people worry about global warming and in Scotland, we think about time. I don't know if you've, if you've been to Scotland, but you'll have noticed not a lot of Scottish people have wind chimes in the house. <laughs> they like having tinnitus. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, winter, the winter is a tremendously difficult time of year for Scottish men to get laid, because Scottish women wear so many clothes. <laughs> it's difficult to get at them. You know how in the movies and that, a young man's sexual rite of passage is the first time he manages to get a woman's bra strap? Undone. In Scotland, this is the first time you get a button off and a duffel coat. <laughs> oh, just another two to go. <laughs> oh, my hands in that fleece. <laughs> it's layers, it's layers up there. Having a gangbang in Scotland's like playing pass the parcel. <laughs> 30 yards. What is the question? Is it uh, how much of a start should the British Army give Iraqi kids? <laughs> I should not be laughing at that. I should not be laughing at that. I should not be laughing at that. Oh, that's, ooh. Ooh. Is it how far is the average child away from a paedophile if they sit at the very back of the classroom? <laughs> <laughs> oh. The distance at which Dick Cheney considers someone to be prey. <laughs> What you don't want to do, Prime Minister said. Get me an 18 inch knife and a hand grenade. I'm sorting this Iraq shit out. <laughs> Unsettling things to hear from the cockpit of a plane. We're about to experience a little bit of turbulence and then a lot of falling. <laughs> <laughs> if you look out over the right wing, you'll see the burning remains of the left wing. <laughs> What not to say on receiving a Winter Olympics medal. <laughs> the goal of women's curling. This will take pride of place in the office that I clean. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible things for Osama Bin Laden to say in his tapes. I've just seen the funniest cartoon. <laughs> Unlikely things for a TV announcer to say. We interrupt tonight's showing of The Sixth Sense with some breaking news. Bruce Willis is a ghost. <laughs> tonight's episode of Songs of Praise contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature. <laughs> the answer is 77 billion. What could the question be? I think this is the number that Stephen Hawking can count up to before his battery runs out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta, yo, 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 what is going on, <laughs> what is going on, what's wrong with this dude, what's wrong with him, yo. It's too late for Roy Castle, hasn't it? Roy Castle's going to be spinning in his grave now, trying to beat the world record for spinning in his grave, currently <laughs> held by O.J. Simpson's wife. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Yo, I, yo, I can't deal with, yo, I can't deal with him, yo. He said 30 yards, <laughs> the distance that the British Army gives Iraqi kids. 
Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Share the video where we share. <laughs> share the video where we share videos at. Whew. Don't forget to uh, turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss upload. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>